And welcome back to Boy Things Podcast. You don't know I'm Kareem Boy Things. Now get ready to witness the lightning fast brilliance of the two of the world's top track stars. Now in this thrilling episode, we bring you the incredible talents of Sharika Jackson and Hansa Parchment. Now these athletes have shattered records, diverse their way to glory and captivated audiences worldwide. Now prepare for a heart pounding spectacle as we delve into their journeys, their achievements and the electrifying rivalry that has set up track world ablaze. It's a showdown like no other and you're about to witness history in the making. All right, as we said it in the intro, we have two guests today, but we're going to start off with this lovely lady here, Ms. Sharika Jackson. Welcome. Thanks for having me. <laughs> Sharika, no matter what the phone is, please. <laughs> I beg of you. All right, thanks for having me. How are you doing? I'm fine. Okay, I like you here. Thank you. Okay. Well, How was the off season? Yeah. How was the off season been? Has been good enough. I'd be out, I'd be out, I'd be out. Be out right be your outside. At the yeah. first, my outside. I yeah, I love that for you. Definitely. Yeah. Um, I think the last time you were on my show was 20, after the Olympics. After the Olympics. 2021. So we would have spoken about your journey a little bit and things. Um, so I want to get as comfortable as possible because I know on stage I did not profile All and right. something else. Right. Right. <laughs> um, so let's walk us back after 2022, after 2021, enter in 2022. Um, are you at that moment, were you mentally ready for the track season, physically ready for the track season, like January 2022 now, they start background training, all of these things. You were ready? Um, I bet I was a bit mentally ready because mm -hmm. after 2021 failure and the 200, I definitely was um, mentally ready. Mm -hmm. um, somewhat, you yeah. know, I fixed how I felt mentally. Yeah. I never made 2021 affected me a mm -hmm. lot because it did affect me a lot, but not so much. So I, I kind of work on that aspect where I say, okay, then 2021 has passed, focus on 2022. So mentally, physically, and emotionally, I was ready. Nice. So then you started on the circuit, one or two of the careers, mm. um, because you ended 2021 with the gold medal on the 4x4. No. Four by one, my apologies. And then you got an individual medal in the 100 meters. So you're supposed to feel good in yourself now. Even though, you know, all the disappointments from the 200 meter, and we spoke about that, he kind of felt, you know, all sort of way and therapy and everything. But you were confident this season, 2022. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Despite getting a medal in the 100, as I said, I think, one of the main reasons I wanted to be in the 200 was because of how persons discouraged me not to do it because who have, who would have been in the final who have, would have got medal. Mm. So I think that's the only real big hurt yeah. during that season. But despite everything, I got two me three medals. So yes. we compete like a sports day now. Yeah, one thing. So, no, man, I try to say that one. <laughs> Because they must see on four by four, I mean, a shirt kind of tired. Yeah, so I think that was, the, despite everything, yeah. 2021 was good. Um, personally, in your life, though, 2022, starting that season, you were confident on the track, but off the track, things were going perfectly fine. Somewhat. Um, yeah. I think for me personally, like whenever things affect me during the, the Outside of training. Because whenever I'm training, my mind is occupied. So I don't really overthink a lot. I don't struggle mm -hmm. mentally a lot. So I think in some aspect, I was okay. But mm -hmm. some aspect, I was struggling. Because I know when everything starts taking over all the emotions and everything, I have mental breakdown most of the time. Yeah. But I started going therapy in 2020. So I wasn't so bad. Mm -hmm. So I think I was okay to some aspect of the track. Mm -hmm. I had a few persons that was in my corner. So... I wasn't too bad. Yeah. Um, let us just fast forward to the national trials now at this point. Now, technically, this would have been your second year when I know in Jimmy 2022. Yes. Um, you went to the trials. It's going to tell about the 200 meter first, the friend. Because <laughs> I don't know. Because I remember saying, you know, a trials right about today. Yes. You're the 21.55. Mm -hmm. Um... Which was the third fastest time, by the way, in in history. Um, <sighs> can we talk about that? It did feel like... <laughs> because I, 
I rewatched that race last night. I mean, I said to myself, "Say, I know that you weren't thinking that you were going that fast." No, you know, funny enough, last night I was actually watching the video. I was watching it last night too. I was like, <laughs> oh my god! And I started smiling because yeah. I was like, "Yeah, this is it." But honestly, I knew I was going to run a, probably around twenty-one seven. So when I saw twenty-one five, I was like. Yeah. Ooh. So I, I was surprised. I don't know if Coach was surprised, yeah. but I definitely was. And then I was like, "Oh my God, I just run fast." But at the time, I'm not. I never focused like, "Oh, it's the third fastest of all." Yeah. No. You never really took more than. No. Yeah. I was like, okay, then I run a personal bit. Mm-hmm. But um, as I said, I was surprised because I said the 200 would have been special. Yeah. But I never knew it was a bit that special. I I don't think anyone knew that it would have been that special. 21.55 is, once again, the third fastest time in history at that particular time. No one saw that coming. Um, and your reaction could have, like, we all saw it on your yeah. face. Like, you're up on the clock, like, right. I said, what the hell? Is I wonder this if the clock stopped already. Yeah. <laughs> I wonder if the clock, because, I mean, we know it's the clock sometimes. Yeah, that's that? Yeah. Yeah. Um, but you also won the 100 meters. Yes. That was your first time. Winning the 100 meters yes. at the national trials. Because it was actually my, because the lot that, all right, before this, I competed in the 100 at, in 2018. Mm-hmm. It was an off year. Yeah. But my personal best was like, live one, three. Yeah. So then I compete at Olympic, we are around 10, seven. And I'm like, okay. Mm-hmm. Then. So when I came back in 2020, um, two, two. I was like, all right, then I learned a little bit about the hundred. I want to run a good 100. So when I won, I was like, yes, if I, if I run this well in the hundred, then I definitely know fireworks is in the 200. 200 yeah. But, but part, 1077 though, Sherika. Yeah. I almost ran my personal the, best. That, that, exactly. And I was like, okay, then I'm not, I'm not feeling so bad. Yeah. And I think, um, at that given moment, it was an eye opener because, I was like, okay, then I just, honestly, yes, I won the 100 and it was special, but I just like, okay, then I I never did well last. So, ever, so despite me getting over the 200 at the Olympic a bit, mm-hmm. it still played on my mind. Yes. Because I was like, what if? Yeah. You know, so um, I think it was good though. Yeah. I think it was good. They were double champion. Did you know though that you were the first Jamaican woman to actually win the 100, 200 and 400 at National Trials? Oh. You didn't know that? I just find out. <laughs> <laughs> no, I did not know. That. You're the first Jamaican woman to ever do that at, at a national trials. Oh, I never know. 100, that. 200, and 400 meters. Oh, that's special. Tell me, I tell you about your career. I don't know. <laughs> <understand. laughs> <laughs> no, I actually never knew that. Yeah. Here's the thing, though, Sharika. I don't think you understand that what you're doing is superb. A lot of us knew you from doing the 400 meters. Um, a lot of us, we've seen you. The Bronx girl has made that normally joke about. A beer bronze used to get. I said beer bronze. <laughs> but I bought five bronze medal. <laughs> but then you st- stepped down. And yes, we spoke about it on the podcast before, doing, doing the shorter distances. But I don't think you've noticed that 2022 for me is when the world was not paying attention. Jamaicans might have been, you know. Yes. But I think the world, the, the track and field world, every athlete who was in the 100 and 200, they now knew that you were a threat. 2022. After that, 1077 and 2155. That's true. Yeah. Um, so after the trials, you were preparing now for um, the world championships in Eugene, in Oregon. Um, what was your mindset like in preparation for? Were you ready mentally? Were you nervous? Were you happy? Mentally, I was ready. Mm. Uh, I did a video because I went to Prefontaine, I think, a couple months, and I ran 10.92. And coach was like, how much you weigh? And I was like, oh, I weigh 145. At the time, I weigh about 150, so I couldn't <laughs> say it. Because yeah. when I have one on the weight, you can know. So, yeah. all right, then, I was ready. I did a video in the hotel room, and I said, to my, and I said, when I come back here in July, I will leave with three gold medals. Mm. Right, and I was like, I have that. I still have that video in my phone because mm-hmm. if I re- I record it and I'm like mm-hmm. keeping it in my phone. Well, yeah, we send it to you know so play it. So video. yeah, I'm a, that's yeah. almost see it. Come here, go me. I go do is is these are two things. I'm going to do a video, or I'm going to do I'm going to write. Write it down. Yeah. So um, I did the video, and so mentally I was ready. You know, um, remember like 2021, I never did what I what I was hoping to do. Yeah. So I like okay, then I'm ready. So when I went there, I 
actually won silver in the 100. Yes. But then coach said something to me and he was like, okay, then it's a second year you're learning. Yeah. Right? But don't just glance over it, please. You won silver in a personal's best. Yes. 1073. Please and thank you. Yes. Okay, so can I move on now? <laughs> yeah. So, um... He said it to me and I felt, because at first I was like, man, what coach is going to say? Like, did I execute properly? But so, so, so many things. You see, I don't know a lot about execution of a 100. Yes. I mean, my sound strange because I'm running 10-7, mm -hmm. but I just get up and run. Mm -hmm. Like, I'm learning. So therefore, I was like, okay, then what will coach say? And that's, I think that's the only opinion I probably will listen so yeah. if coach like, oh, you didn't run well, I was like, mm -hmm. okay then. And he explained what I'm, I did wrong. It's not like people are like, oh, you're not good. And are like, you hard on yourself? No. No? I used to be. Yeah. I think 2020, after the 100, I was a little bit hard on myself. Yeah. But I was still happy. Yes. And I was like, firstly, I was more happy about not getting a bronze medal. Because remember, I'll be a bronze 2015, again. 2015, 2016, mm -hmm. 2019, mm -hmm. 2021. Mm -hmm. I was like, oh my God, thank God. So I was more happy on that An upgrade. <laughs> yes. Yeah. So I was like, okay then. And when I went, as I said, when I went around, he spoke to me. And then I started like, okay then. Yeah. And the coaching staff was happy. So I like, happy. Yeah. I'm like okay then. And then the 200 meters. Up. How were you feeling before that race? I was excited. You were excited? I was super excited. I was You're having like, a lot of fun. Yes. Yeah. And we could see it. I think I was a, a bit more happier where I understood that whenever I finish running the 100, I still have work to do. Yeah. Because remember, normally I run on the one individual event. So whenever I run the individual event, it was like, okay, then you wait until the relay, which is a couple of days down the line. Mm -hmm. So now that I understood that running the 100 and 200, it takes more focus. Yes. So I was a bit more focused. Whenever after I'm done the 100, whenever I run, go pan live, and then mm -hmm. all of them distractions. Yes. So therefore, I was prepared mentally. And I think coach helped because he keeps mental session and i also went to my therapist before because remember preparing for um world championship we were in jamaica yes so i think it was much easier and i was like okay then i'm ready mm -hmm. so you know because normally we get a break but then they run like after the hundred the other day we run and run and yeah. like, okay then and coach was like don't let the opinion of others distract you from what you're capable of doing in the 200. Mm. So I was like, okay then. And that's when I knew, I like, okay, then I'm ready, yeah. you know? And after the semifinal, I was a bit more focused because I like, oh, I'm not going to let because I run so well, it get me distracted. I like, nah. So therefore, mentally, I was ready. Physically, emotionally, mm -hmm. spiritually, I was like, okay then. I'm just, I'm ready. I'm excited because, mm -hmm. you know, I ran 21 five at trials. I've improved yeah. since the training. Yeah. The, the, the couple of weeks are like, okay, then I'm super excited. And the 200 are my own, you know? Yeah. So I'm excited. I'm like, all right, then I'm ready. What so, was the time in your mind? Honestly, I wrote, well, I like, I had a list because I wonder, I don't know. I wrote 2145 because at first, before when the given season, I wrote 215 on it. Mm -hmm. And then I was home with my friends and they, I just said, like, why you think you can't run 21? Because at first, I, no, I ran 20, put 21 six. Mm -hmm. So after the trials, I was like, boy, I don't know. I, I said 21 six, but I ran 21 five. So, okay, then I'm going to run, to, I'm going to write 2145. So anyway, I wrote it and I left it at home because I'm a person, I will write it, I will take a picture of it and then I leave it at home because I never wanted to work with the people. Normally, I put everything on my fridge. Mm -hmm. If persons come into my house yeah, and I, I don't it. let a lot of persons come yeah. my house. So if somebody come into my house and I don't want to see it, I will take the, everything. Oh, yeah. You will not see anything. <laughs> that is how I stay. And I put it on the fridge because... At the time, my friend was at my house. So therefore, yeah, my friend can see. And then she sent me a photo and she said, I realize how strong your mind is whenever you set something, you achieve it. So when I saw the clock, I was super, I was more excited about the gold medal. I yeah. didn't really realize how fast I ran. Yeah, I remember you were saying in an interview that, listen, this is 
a gold medal. You've never done that in an individual event. Mm -hmm. You never even looked on the clock initially. You were just excited that you won. And bear in mind, coming off the curve, Shelly was literally there. Yes. Right? So, (laughs) and I know that, you know, in your mind, you know you're way more stronger in the 200 meter than Shelly and Fraser Price. But, you know, looking at it now in the race, when you come off of the curve, you realize that she was actually in front of you. What was going through your mind? I was like, because, I think that's one of the things I love about me running the 200. I don't panic. Mm. It's not like a 100, I might panic a little. Yeah. Like I will rush the phase, but during a 200, it's a bit longer, so yeah. you don't have to rush anything. So I was like, okay, then I know I'm stronger. I've encountered this at the Jamaica trial. Yes. So therefore, I know how to handle being in a race where somebody's in front. So I was like, okay, then this is it. Because I was like, I'm not going home without a gold medal. Mm-hmm. So I think that was one of the motivation. And when I, as I said, when I crossed the line, I was more excited about the gold medal than really realizing the time is afterwards. I was like, oh my 21.45. Yes. Personal best, national record, world leading, championship record, the fastest time by a woman alive, the second fastest time in history. Yes. When you think back about this moment, right? Um, do you reflect sometimes and just be like, yo, I'm really the fastest woman over the 200 meters? Yes. Yeah? Mm-hmm. I think, I think like after I ran the semifinal at World Championship, I had a probably five second mini breakdown. Like, really? Why? I don't, it's like all the emotions from not making the Olympic came down and I couldn't yeah. contain it. And I think Kinsey was around the back and I hugged him and I started crying immediately. And he panicked because he never knew what was wrong. Yeah. And he was like, what was wrong? And then I'm like, I'm okay. And I yeah. walked away. Like I had said you nothing just to just let it out. It's like I had that mini breakdown session where I, I almost broke down in the car room. I had to just take up my things in my hand with my spikes and everything. The girl in the back, I had it and I was like, oh, yes, I'm okay. Yeah. I'm assuming that it sunk in at that moment that what you wanted to accomplish the, the year before, that didn't happen. You're finally now here. You're in the final and you knew that once you're in the final, then all bits are off. You're yes. in a business who went in the lane in front or behind, not beside you. You're going to get that gold medal. Definitely. And you're now at that point point the second fastest woman in history the fastest Mm. woman alive 21.45 um that season was a great season definitely uh you you were also going through a family member of yours was sick yes in the midst of world championship in the midst of world championship i've been through so much during that world championship um at the time i almost lose my daddy Mm -hmm. and Probably that's one of the things that all the emotions was battling up. Because yeah. at the time, I, I never shared it with coach or anybody. Mm-hmm. Is when after the 100, I got a video. And when I saw my father, it, I broke down in tears. Mm. And I think at the moment, the thing is, if you see me cry, it's because I can't hold my emotions mm-hmm. anymore. It's like every emotion taking me over. Mm-hmm. So... I don't think they send the video with the intention for me to see how bad he right. was. They send the video because he was super excited to watch me run the yes. 100. So when, I, that is how I say, if I see a video, I look past everything you're showing me. Mm-hmm. Right? And I think at that moment when I saw him, I started panic because I've never seen my father, well, I don't know, but during the when before I went away, I was trying my very best to get in in a healthy place mm-hmm. where I had limited time. So when I went away, I think his leg started everything. Because mm. when I saw him, his leg was almost over his shoulder. I've mm. never seen that before. So I was like, no, and I run go to coach and I run go to my agent. And I was like, I'm I'm about to lose my father. The 200 don't run yet. Because mm. it's after the 100. And I was like, I'm about to lose my father and he asked and I explained and I showed them the video and I was like, I don't know what to do. But at the time, I didn't know that the doctor gave him the option to remove the leg, Mm -hmm. which he never let me know because I think, I don't know, they hide stuff from me, which I think it's affected me because don't wait until it gets very bad. They're going to put me in a position to 
be at a championship and not focus. Yes. But as I said, I don't think they had sent the video with the intention for me to yes. see it. It's just they were super excited for to show me that he's watching. And I think that played a lot on my mind when I went to the start line in the heat. I was like, what do I do? Yeah. You know, I was thinking, all of this on your mind. Yes. And I was like, no, I don't like this for me, you know. And I went, as I said, I went to coach and I was like, I don't know. My father is supposed to lose his leg and I have to wait until I get home because I know I had to go back home because I never had a visa that I wanted to go at, um, I think, Commonwealth at the time. And I was like, I have to wait until I get home. So co uh, my agent was like, no, you can't wait so long. What if you wait so long and he died? And mm. I'm like, oh my God, why did they put this in my head? Yeah. So, you know, I have the 200 the other day. Mm. So um, I think they got on it and got in contact with my friend. And that's how um, during the World Championship, he lost one of his legs. And I think it played a lot on my mind when I came back to Jamaica. Because I came back to Jamaica and um, they arranged a ride for me to go to because he was in the hospital. And I was like, how do one person take in so much? I was about to ask you that. You know? And he was there and the condition he was in, I, I couldn't contain myself. Because I went with one of my friends and as I went in the vehicle, I started crying on the driver because I never I, I, I never knew the driver. And he was like, are you okay? And I'm like, yes, I'm okay. Because mm -hmm. I'm going to say I'm okay. Yeah. So I met with the hospital staff at Sinan's Bay Hospital, which really helped me a lot. And I think they did, the, they did a good job. Because mm -hmm. during the time, I had to come back to Europe. Because if I even I went to I left the championship before it it finished. Because right after the four by one, I went back to Jamaica, mm -hmm. and by the twenty five, because I think the world championship finished on the twenty third. Mm -hmm. So I went. I reached back to Jamaica on the twenty third, and I had to leave the twenty five. Mm. So, um, he lost. No, I think at the time he never lose his leg. So when I went back to Europe, he lost his leg and. I was worried because I did not know if he would have made make it or not. So I was really, really worried. And I was like, no, man, I can't take this. And when I went over, coach was like, are you okay? And I was like, yes, I'm okay. <laughs> but no, I'm not. Because mm -hmm. my father is about to lose his leg. I don't know if he's going to live or not. Mm -hmm. So I was like, okay, then. And then he lost his leg. And I, he went back to the house and... I think one day I was speaking to him and he said something to me and I was like, okay. And I called coach immediately and I like, can you find a home to put my father here? Mm. And because I was looking for a while and I couldn't find it and I was like, I can't do it by myself. So I had to let them in and I made a decision. I think it's been a year. It's been a year plus he's in a home, which he... He's healthy now. And yes, I'm about to ask if he's okay now. Yes, he's definitely okay now. Yeah. Thank God. So. But then, how do you go through so much? Um, I mean, I can relate, but how do you, you know, in that moment, you're going through so much different you know, aspects of your life. You're you know, wondering about your father's health. You're wondering, you know, what's going to happen and you still have to compete. You still have to go out there and smile and, you know, <laughs> take pictures of people and all these things and produce a 21.45. Um, I think, as I said, the coaching stuff, because I think when coach here and then the agent, eventually the whole staff will hear. Yeah. So one thing I don't like is I don't really like people asking me a lot, like, are you okay? Are you yeah. okay? Because even if I'm not okay, I'm going to say, yes, I'm okay. Yeah, same. So, um... I think that's one of the things where they keep on saying, okay. So I think that also contribute to my little breakdown after mm -hmm. the semifinal. And I was like, okay then. And coach, I think coach helped a lot where he like, look, don't focus too much on your father. We'll take care of it. Yeah. So I think that gave me a little sense of ease, mm -hmm. but I still worried. I'm not going to be like, if it's like, okay, then you're going to the 200 final, clear your mind. So the night I sat and I, I think either wrote, 
some stuff and I was like, okay, then I'm not feeling too bad. But then my friends keep me in my mind occupied because yeah. Janelle would like, <laughs> one thing with Janelle, if she hear that I'm not okay, she'll come and she'll just talk, talk, talk. Yeah. So all of us was over one of our teammate room every day and we just sit there and we talk and yeah. laugh. So I had a little bit of ease in my mind. But that season ended. Um, I'm assuming mixed emotions because you're happy but at one end you may be thinking should i really be happy because my father is going through all of this but at the end of the season can you explain the mood and the mental state that sharika was in because it was a great year yeah it really was um i think i don't all right one of the things i think i is hard to manage is the attention mm. remember i used to run 400 i don't get a lot of that yeah. So I think most of that took a mental breakdown on me. Like I had to go to my therapist like every week because mm -hmm. the attention was just too much. Mm -hmm. So I think I was struggling a bit how to handle all the social media and everything. So I had to take a little break off social media. So um, I went to therapy and I said to coach, he asked if I'm okay. Because, you know, at the time my father wasn't well. So I was like, how do I go about being happy and my father is sick? Or how do I ma uh, manage being mentally not okay, but I'm physically okay? Mm -hmm. I'm, yeah, outside I'm smiling, but deep down there's a little bit of knife cut in there yeah. so i think for me personally i it was a struggle to manage but then when i started managing it was okay yeah so it was a little bit of emotional roller coaster mm. you know me bali bali you know so. <laughs> <laughs> but then 2022 came to an end um what were your goals for 2023 like when the year was about to start or where it just started what were your goals for this year um I still wrote my goals. I wrote that I wanted to diamond trophy because that was one of my goals in 2022, mm -hmm. which I did not achieve. Mm -hmm. And then I still never achieved my double individual medal in 2023. Mm -hmm. Um, most of my, well, most of my hundred times that I wrote, I achieved. I still never achieved my 10-5. So therefore, right after the trials, I set some goals which I didn't achieve, but it's not the end of the road. I've done super fast. I still never broke the world record. Mm -hmm. I still never run 10-5. I still never got an individual goal in the 100. So all of those was included in my goals, which I never achieved. But then I still did super. Fantastic. Yes. Now let's talk about <laughs> it, please and thank you. Because national trials again, come up, your day, your start. I, I don't know. I, I was covering the, the trials. Yeah. On nationwide. So uh, normally, I sit on the same place and I stay them all the time, right? Somebody way up at the top. And when I saw the 1065 on the screen, listen to me, I was live on the radio. I may tell you, I'm going to contain myself. Because I don't think people understand that this is your, your third year now, really and truly. 1065, enough athletes who are the greats in this sport has never dipped below 1070. That's true. Ten six five is a phenomenal time. Um, when you looked at the clock, what went through your mind? Because you actually wrote down ten six five. Yes. No, you had a personal best of what, Miss? Ten seventy one. Okay, thank you so much. <laughs> ten six five, actually. I don't monkey somebody said so this is something <laughs> phenomenal. You know? Um, what was going through your mind? I was excited. All right. Leading up to trials, I, I had a mental breakdown a couple of days before. Mm -hmm. So I had to rush. Like, I don't know. I was going to training one evening and I magically got a phone call from the therapist's office. And she was like, oh, Sharika, we have an appointment for tomorrow. So this, for example, today's Wednesday. She was like, oh, we have an appointment for Thursday at four o'clock. And I was like, yes. And I sat in my car because I was there and I was like, God, this is you. Because I was feeling super emotional. I did just did not know what was a trigger. Because usually sometimes when I write, I know how I feel daily. So therefore, I could find my trigger. But at this point, I couldn't find it. And I was like, no, I'm not okay. Trials is coming up. Is it that I'm nervous? But I don't really get nervous that easy. So mm. therefore, something else was wrong, you know? And I was like, okay, then I was like, oh, and I feel it myself. But therefore, genuinely, I was happy. Mm -hmm. 
So I was like, okay, then I went to therapy and I felt good, you know. I probably cried too much, <laughs> but I was okay. Yes. So I was like, okay, then I'm ready. I was a little bit nervous though, because how would I perform? Mm-hmm. I'm nervous in now, you know, because remember, you know, tries to come up. I know me in a good shape, but then when I did go to Oslo, I never run too good. Yeah. Despite the little bug situation. Uh, d- right. You know what? <laughs> come and take a break because I want to talk about this other something. <laughs> because this people, trust and believe me, we're celebrating Sherika Jackson. We're going to talk about um, the trials and this year's World Championship and Diamond League. And you also be nominated as Female Athlete of the Year, which is a major thing. Yeah, son. <laughs> All right, let's just take a quick break. <laughs> All right, welcome back. We still have Sherika Jackson here, the fastest one alive over 200 meters. <laughs> but you might have to say it, but sorry. <laughs> so you're talking about the Oslo Diamond League. Yes. That I think the only times that you've gotten beaten this season in a 100 meter was by Shakiri. Um, I remember, I feel like I was defenders of the earth because I remember me dip on Twitter because I see the people and I say, oh, Sherry, can I look up? Whatever. And obviously, I'm not going to talk about, you know, things that we've spoken about privately, but I know that you were going to it before that meet day. And you went and Jamaicans, even journalists, people who were in the sports were just like, oh, it was a flu. Can you look like, like you're ready and something must have been going on? Are you going through an injury? A bag of things. It was all over. But you... We're traveling from Jesus was a boy. <laughs> you travel around the wall at Jericho for each to the little meet. You never have no bag. You never have no clothes oh running. Oh my huh? God. And you still showed up to the line. Yes. I had a I had a rough, rough, rough. What I mean? All right. So therefore, the flight from Jamaica to Miami delayed. So that when we reached Miami, we missed the Dallas connection, mm-hmm. which they booked me on the evening one. Because two flights leave to Dallas. Mm-hmm. So... When we get to Dallas, the flight we got to London leave me. Right. So you know, so I just tear Dallas the night. Mm-hmm. Couldn't get my bag, nothing. I I went and I asked and I said, can I collect my bag? They were like, no, we're going to put it on the next flight. So you know, the other man and me get up. Mm-hmm. I miss the, the, the connection from, <laughs> from Dallas to London. To London. Ending up late again. Mm-hmm. So therefore, by the time I reach London again, I miss the, the connection from, for we go from London to Oslo. Mm-hmm. I was like, no, man. I said, God, are you this or what? You know? I mean, I know. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. Missed, like, every connection, I was like, and I stayed in London airport for about six hours. Mm. I have to make a little bed. Like, I have a little coach at this, I make a little bed. I said, God, are you this, man? Mm-hmm. So, anyways, I got to um, Oslo. I'm like, all right, then, despite everything, at least I probably gonna get my bag so I go ready still. How many days were um I'm gonna this about two moment? Days. What, so two days. two days. So you're traveling for two days. Two and days. the meet was like on a Thursday or something like that. I'm gonna reach the, the, the Wednesday night. Okay. I'm here like, no, when I reach Wednesday night, like I was containing my emotion. When I mm-hmm. reach Wednesday night, I'm gonna get a baggage claim, no bag. Mm-hmm. My mom, I not have no clothes in no. Okay. I have my local carry on, but you know, look at. And not yeah. no running, not no in mm-hmm. there, no clothes to put on, go out. I could not even eat. I had to stop in the mall and buy KFC because Burger King, because I had no clothes. Yeah. Like, I had no gears. And I had nothing. So when you went to Oslo for that meet on the Thursday, that Jamaicans then did that class you bought. Like we reached Wednesday night. Wednesday yeah, night. Yeah, and the meet yeah. is Thursday. Yes. You never have no gears. No, you never have no spikes. You never have, have nothing. nothing. So where you get gears from? All right, so you want me to reach? No, me, I said to my agent, boy, I'm going to get my bag, you know, and they were like, oh, what are you going to do? Me, I'm like, boy, I'm going to know if I can run because I'm going to have no clothes. Mm-hmm. So, anyway, same time I saw um, Pascal and I was like, the Puma first, and, yes. was, and I was like, okay, then I like, Adrian, no, I said, Andre, can you ask? Um, Pascal, if him can get local gear some more, but the local store come here, like, all right, I'm thinking with the Aslo, I'm thinking I pull my place there. Aslo. <laughs> so, me, like, yeah, even, even that, because I wanted to show up, you yeah. know, despite um, all of the things I that were happening. To show. Yeah. 
Because I say, all right, they're in a good shape, more want run and everything. So anyways, I was like, you can ask him. I'm like, all right, then, fine, no problem. Ask, oh, no, they don't have no clothes. At the store, you never feel like you just want ball and just drop them. I'm going to room and I'm like, I couldn't even go to breakfast. Maybe yeah, okay, I have no clothes. I'm gonna have no clothes, I'm gonna have nothing. Remember, I know the clothes because I was like, okay, then they bring local gears because they have to fly all the way from a, another country, which the flight delay, delay. So, by it, me have a beard sitting in a room, I pray, me I check the, every second, me I check the time because yeah. remember, say me I forget, normally I forgot to the truck three hours before. Mm-hmm. About one hour left before warm up. Mm-hmm. So me did that, me like, oh my God. If it's a car, me just a call, where's the guy? Where's the guy? Because he was on his way. Remember, I know this guy, they're on holiday, you know? <laughs> and I'm going to leave him holiday weekend. For carry gears for come here. Gears. So me like, all right, then him come. But as him come with the gears, me just jog on the gears and run out. Because them did have a taxi waiting on me. So by the time I reach, I couldn't even rest. By the time I reach, I soon time for warm up. I mean, like, God. Despite everything, my day here, my inner the gears, and I look like old broke, you know, can't remember, you know, no, no, like, normally we have a matching gears and everything, no, I don't like that. Mm-hmm. I, have it, I have one shirt with bigger than me, one look <laughs> tight, and then I don't have no socks, because mm-hmm. they never bring no socks. So I felt so uncomfortable. But I'm like, all right, then me, I'm a pro, you know, I have to show up. Yeah. And you showed up. And I did. You know, yeah. everybody was like, yeah, all right. Because Talu was like, how many see him? And like, Talu got here so late last night and everything. And she, when I went, she finished running. She was like, I'm so sorry. And I said, no, that's okay. When you know things like this are happening, right? And maybe your close friends or family members might know. And then when you see people talking about disappointments and things and the conversations and people are class and... They not feel like you're ready and maybe you must just run one event mm-hmm. and all these things. Like, what goes through your mind? Honestly, all right. I've said this before. Is it 2021? My nanty, if my never strong lick a bit, I'm commit suicide. Jesus. I um, don't think people understand. Mm. Lick my left, right, and center. But then I think after that, I realized, you know, say people in the media, them opinion don't really matter. Mm. Like, I'm they a don't. friend them, yeah. you know. Although I lose a lot of friends during that time. But, like, all right. I always say this. There are a hundred persons that will post probably a race, result, uh, everything. You can go up and feed them page and do anything or say anything you want to. You see, if you come on my page now, <laughs> therefore, then you're going to force me to either block you mm-hmm. because I'm not going to reply. Mm-hmm. Either, you see, if I delete your comment, don't put it back. Because mm-hmm. I might wake up in a good mood where I don't feel like I want to block you mm-hmm. or anything. But you see, if you come in on my inbox or you come on my page with the negativity, I'm have to block you. Same. I'm in mean, a business block. who I say, oh, no, you make negative affect you. No, go on it. There are 100 persons on the internet Every, you can give me my 100 page where post both track and feel. Mm-hmm. Go over for them page, go comment. Mm-hmm. I don't have no problem because I don't like me to go over your page, go look where you comment. Yeah. No, go over for them page and you can leave anything you want to say over there. And I think that's what got me upset that day that I had to close the app because when I saw how people, bear in mind, you were doing good all season um, and one look race, them not <laughs> know if you are going through some, something and you were really going through something. And when I saw the comments, I was just like, these are the same people who were just singing your praises. But we can move on to the World Championship. Mm-hmm. Um, you're in a way better space. Yep. You're just in a more happier um, frame of mind. Um, and you walked away with a silver medal. 10.72. So after having a world lead of 10.65, we still stand. Yes. At the end of the season. A giant world lead now. Because Shakiri won in 10.65. Yes. Did she? Um, you got the silver medal, 10.72. I also saw people were just saying that you and Shellyan were paying attention to each other and never look over to the, the far lane because Shakira just won out of nowhere, to be honest with you. Um, in your head, thinking back about that race, at the end of the line, did you think that you won? Yes. That, okay, so you thought that you were the winner. Yes. But then... Because, and then I see the results. And then you see the results. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Had you knew that she was coming up on the outside lane, would you maybe, no, 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 dip? Um, I, the thing is, because when coach was like, all right. So after the race, I thought I won. Mm-hmm. And then I saw the result. And then when I watch a replay, 
Because the thing is with me, once I finish on, I want to see the replay. So I was actually looking up to see the replay. And then I realized, I'm like, Lord God, coach going to kill me. But then I was like, no. And then uh, what I had to, the thing is, yes, I was disappointed, but I was still happy I got a medal. Mm -hmm. Right? I was more disappointed with the execution. Mm -hmm. And I was like, what else could I have done? So, so many things was rushing through my head. Yes. And I'm like, mm, nah, I don't want to think about it. Mm -hmm. So, therefore, um, I think for me personally, would I have dipped? Maybe, but would the dip would have won the race? Yeah, mm. maybe not. Yeah. I was like, mm. So, anyway, um, when I finish, the next day I saw a coach because we got a break. So, when I went to medal presentation, he was like, mm, are you okay? And I was like, yeah. The thing is, coach gave me a hug. Mm. I was like, all right. Then I yeah, man, you feel good bad, in yourself. You yeah. know? He was like, congrats, man. And I was like, thank you. And I think that is how I thought he, because I thought he would have like, oh, you would have been upset. No. Yeah. I think he went back to watch a race and the other day he said to me, did you watch the race? And I was like, no. And mm. he was like, okay then. And he said something that I, um, I think which made me felt a little bit more relaxed. He said, I don't have a problem if you lose. But whenever, if you lose, hope it be that you execute properly and all the phases are done properly. Yes. And you lose more than, you don't run your best race and lose. Mm -hmm. Um, I was in pretty good shape for the 100. Unfortunately, I didn't run another personal best, but... Yeah. I learn a lot from that experience, you know. I've always said I wanted to compete with the best I did. And on the day, I think I did my best, but it was just wasn't good enough yeah. for a gold medal. That's fine. So, yes, I was disappointed, but it's not the end of the road. Yeah. All right, I was disappointed. I still have another race. I have to move I on. I have a 200 meter that you know? a lot of people thought that you were going to get, though. The world record. Yeah. Did you, in your mind, think, hey... I want the world record. If 21.34 is not too far from your personal best at that particular time, um, did you think it was possible? I think it was possible. I, yeah, same. Definitely. I think it was possible. I just, because during the time, right after I finished the first round of the, the 200, coach was like, I hope you're not on the internet paying attention to what they're saying. And I'm like, no, I log off the internet. So... Mm -hmm. Whatever people saying, it don't really matter to me. And he was like, okay then. And he said, you know you got this. So I like, I know. So therefore, I was super confident going in that 200. Mm -hmm. And I was like, okay then, the world record is possible. I never went in the race with it definitely placed on my mind like, okay then. But I had it in the back of my head. Mm -hmm. Like, okay then, a perfect execution, good win would have got me there. Ah, uh, when I finish, I was like, uh, no, twenty-one point four one. Mm. Another world lead, another championship record, another personal best, another national record. It's pretty close. Pretty pretty close. to the world record, but I feel like say, the wind nah, just please. nah in your favor at all. Come and know say, if that was even a one point five, one point three. I said the wind just nah. The record are gone. Good. But persons are also now saying that your reaction was of disappointment. No. And I know that it, it really wasn't. Honestly, I was sick. Yeah. And I had a bad incident during I, I, that race. And I know that as like, well. Yeah. <laughs> I had a bad incident in that race. And I don't think people understand. And I was like, good thing I never run in the pants. <laughs> <laughs> because then you were sick. I was sick. It was a sinus infection. Yes. And I knew that. And I was, you know, messaging you every minute, like, listen, I am kind of worried, but you got this no matter where yourself. Yeah. God got you, whatever. Um, because once again, the outside world doesn't know these things yeah. and they're expecting so much, as, you know, from athletes. You just won 21.41. You're ill. Your reaction isn't to the time, but mm. so everything else that you were going through and people are just like, oh, she's not happy. But you were very happy. I ran 2141. Okay. I ran a personal base okay. at a championship. Okay. So I I think papers is door. And I think it's because I just started sprinting. Because if you 
look on most of my race, that's the same expression I have yeah. the majority of the time. All the time. Last year was just a little bit different because it was I your first gold my medal. My first gold medal. Yeah. So and I wasn't sick. Yeah. So this year was a little bit different. Everything just came, I think, tumbling down a mm -hmm. bit. And I'm not, I don't like taking medication because even when I got the medication from the doctor, I wake up Bruce and I was like, Bruce, do this, can I take this? Because yeah. that is how I stay. And I, if it, I don't care which doctor give me, I am sending it to Bruce before mm -hmm. I take it. And so even I got it from the medical, I don't care. Yeah. I'm sending it to Bruce. So if Bruce like check it and like, no, it's not okay, then I'm not going to take it. So I was like, okay, then I'm not feeling so good. But I don't think, as I said, persons who that is not in my corner will not know that I was ill and I'm not going let like coming out every round and like, oh, I'm not feeling well. Oh, no. Mm -hmm. Now, the end of the season, you also, you said it earlier, you've always wanted to win the Diamond League final. Mm -hmm. You did it. You became the third woman to do so. Not Jamaican woman, the third woman ever. Um, you're now nominated for Female Athlete of the Year. Mm -hmm. um, the only Jamaican this year. Um, yeah, yeah, the only Jamaican. <laughs> um, the Diamond League final, you set a meet record, 21.57. You're now just running 21.5s and 21.4s, like it's nothing. Um, you also won the, the, the 100 meter in 10.70. So you've had a great season, great year. Um, how are you feeling now heading back into training for the next year? Um, for this year, you know, what's today, how is Sherika Jackson feeling based on her performance of 2023? Um, I think the performance wise, I'm feeling super excited. Is the Olympic year coming up? Um, I'm super excited. Me am I okay mentally ready for training now? Mm -hmm. But I'll be though. Mm -hmm. But I think in terms of performances that I did last year, I'm super excited. I've improved so much, especially over 100 this year. And going in our Olympic year is just to work on the weak points. And I don't definitely know coach is excited. Yeah, but I'm excited. And once coach is excited, I am excited. Yeah. So I think, as I said, I'm supposed to start training on Monday. Mm hmm after five weeks, oh, <laughs> I'm, I'm ready, you know, yeah. I'm ready. And you'll be ready. Uh, definitely, yeah. definitely. I am super excited, Olympic year. Yeah. So. And I sure do hope that you get that um, Athlete of the Year title because it belongs to you. But we're going to let you off the studio mm -hmm. when I'll see you next is with Hans Apartment. We're going to play some game. I don't know what the games are, by the way. Okay. My producer does, but I don't know anything. Say, so I forgot, maybe pinch her and ask her hey, what the game is. Because she's not telling nothing. That was Sharika Jackson, everybody. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So we're going to have Hans Apartment in that seat right after this break. Hey guys, it's Chavez Bridge and I'm here with some great news. The Ambassador Program is finally here. Go on the website, click Become an Ambassador and check out the requirements. Do you have what it takes to become an ambassador? Always wanted to work with the bridge, work with great products, share our platform, show us your talents. Check out how to become an ambassador on our website. I look forward to seeing you. Let's work. So, we have here Mr. Hans' apartment. Welcome back to Jamaica, sir. Respect. I don't know if you live here anymore, you know. We can't be here for another day and, and all these things. But I must just say congratulations on getting the key to my aunt today. Yeah, How was that? Yeah. It, was, it was a good little, um, let's say, celebration. Mm -hmm. You know, put on by the Alumni Association of Martin Bay High School. Mm -hmm. You know, they're always supporting me. Yeah. Always, you know there for me for so does getting the key means <laughs> <laughs> but come on with the people that get keen i'm just always wondering you know, like what can i open with this key like what can i do I it's, know, it's, just, it's just some other thing yeah. you know i mean i don't think it's anything i can do anything with it, <laughs> really. um You've been on my show many, many times. So it's just a recap really and truly because I, I think out of any other athlete I've spoken to the most, um, but you've had a great year. 
Um, I think the last time you were on my podcast, though, you were just speaking about the Olympic year. So we're going to kind of just a little recap of, you know, the last two years combined together. Um, but I'll just start from what happened last, which was a personal best and the Diamond League trophy. Um, 12.93. Your personal best was 12.94, Pachi. And you did this in 2014. Yeah, that was what, yeah. nine years ago? Long time. When you're young yeah. and agile. Young and yeah. fresh. Young and fresh. Still young and fresh, say. you know, but... Yeah. yeah. I mean, in regards to track and field, though, people think that, you know, once you reach 30, then that's kind of like a downtime. True, um, true. After seeing that person was best on that screen, what was going through your mind? Well, to be honest, you know, my, my personal best from 2014, I ran it much easier. Yeah. You know, I mean, I was more relaxed because mm-hmm. um, my aim was to beat this French guy. So I came to the last hurdle and I glimpsed to the side and I realized that I may have him covered. So I just jogged through and I said, yeah. all right, cool. This time around, I run through because, you know, I grant. Yes. And, and you know, him gone. So, yes. you know, I have to put in some effort to catch him. Um, but it was was very good. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Um, I wouldn't say I'm surprised it was a personal base because that was the aim. Mm-hmm. And I... You know, was fit and felt good. Mm-hmm. But um, it, it's it's very good to end the season on such a high note. Yes. Uh, definitely looking forward to better that for next year. I would I would like to go be, be, beyond 1290. I would love for you to get the national record. So I can definitely see that. Um, as I said to you on the radio, your first major medal was in 2012. That was 11 years ago. And... Um, I don't think people really realize, and I think because you're so laid back, yeah, people don't really realize that you've been doing this for a long time and you've been doing this at the highest levels and you've been producing. I've always said it that I have five athletes that I never doubt and you're one of those five athletes because I feel like once you're in a final, you're going to find it somewhere, shape or form. Um, can we just talk about last season? Last season, you were poised to get that gold medal. Um, the wall of Jamaica did up a watch. You were in Eugene. Mm. Um, and I remember getting a text from somebody before it came on the media that you will be out of the race. And I thought it was a joke. What happened? Why? Well, disappointing moment, you know, but something out of my control at yeah. the time. Um, I was in the shape of my life, obviously. Yes. You know, I felt like I would have broken my PR then. Yes. And I felt like it would have been a real challenging race because, of course, you know, Grant was at his best and, mm-hmm. and Devon Allen Devon as well. was also so there. I, you know, that was like the, the kind of race I was really looking forward mm-hmm. to because, you know, it's, it's almost like every time you have a good feel with, with everybody who is fit, something always happens and we never really get to properly test ourselves to see mm-hmm. what we can really do. You know, and I feel like that would have been a race with several people under 13 seconds yes and we've never had anything like that in very very long time mm-hmm. you know but um to be honest i'm not completely sure where it come from because mm-hmm. i thought i was hydrating really well but as soon as i went down to test the blocks you know you know if you ever feel like you know, electricity passed through the leg Come on, that's a military. You know I mean, I feel like bush. something just go through. I mean, I mm-hmm. say, wait, what that? And then it go away. I say, all right, me I'm good. I run out, clear the first hurdle. As me about to clear the second hurdle, the leg just mm. do it want to. Yeah. And almost fell, and then I had to walk off to the side of the, of the field and you know try to get a small test to see what I go on, and then realize, all right, it look like I'm out. Yeah. Because once you get a cramp, even if it's a small cramp, yes, it's done. What was going through your mind knowing that you were in the shape of your life? I remember um, you made a post to your fans, to Jamaicans, and you were basically saying you hope that we don't feel disappointed or something like that. Um, but what was going through your mind knowing that what you ran in the semifinals, um, 13.02, and you won that semi-final. Grant won the final in 13.03. Um, and I know 
you know, anything can happen, yes, in a hurdle race, but I know that you would have won that final. So when you were writing that message to Jamaicans and to, you know, all of us who was going to read it, what was going through your mind other than disappointment? Well, you know, I'm 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 always grateful for, for the support and, and you know, because I feel like I have a, a, my core group of people who, you know, always did it for me and thing and I wanted just to let them know everything is good and mm -hmm. um I'll definitely work on myself to come back and, and yeah. represent as best as possible. And I know for them it it would be more um of a emotional break or hurt mm -hmm. more than for me because yeah. I, I try to look at it a little different, you know, and try to learn from the situation and see how I can um make it better for next year. Mm -hmm. I and mean, if you saw my post when I went to Eugene mm -hmm. um last month, mm -hmm. I, I I wrote round two. Yes. You know what I mean? Because <laughs> I said, all right, I have a chance now to come back and do something yeah. that I didn't get to do the previous year. And you know, I, I was happy I was able to come through with the win and, and personal best win. Mm -hmm. um, I feel like, you know, I, I, I did what I was supposed to do. Yes, you, you sure know. did. Um, but, but then brought me back to the start of the season. After that um, devastating experience, right? And you're starting a new year. You're getting one year older. Track and field people believe that, hey, once you're getting older, once you're over 30, it's time to wrap it up. You're starting 2023. You were disappointed with um, what happened in, in, in the previous world championship. What were your goals going into this season and how were you feeling physically at the top of the season? Um, season started out very slow. Yes. Very, very slow. Um, people didn't think I would do well. I, I can never understand why people always look at it like that. Because mm. I, I realize each year I'm, I'm never predicted into the medals or predicted to be, you know, yeah, within sure. the top, the top level. And I never understand why, because each year I show that, you know, we put in the work. So. Yes. Um, but it started out slow um, because the leg was still giving me a little bit of issue. Mm -hmm. And um, we made some changes, you know what I mean? Um, decided that, you know what, I need to sleep a little longer, start going to bed a little <laughs> earlier. Mm -hmm. You know, started trying to fix up the diet some more. And, mm -hmm. you know, because as, as you know, I get it, even though I feel young, you know, mm -hmm. I still have to do these things to make sure yeah. That, you know, the body respond how I want it to respond. And I think after making these changes and I could see where I was improving. Yeah. You know, but the first couple of races, people saw 13.5 and 13.6, I think it was. And everybody saying, oh, what happened to Pachi? <laughs> things don't look good. But I'm not worried because yeah. I know the, the aim is, um, you know, qualify for the trials. Yes. And once I qualify, then... You know, I have my foot in and I can work towards the uh, the world championships. Mm -hmm. See, I, I didn't win, unfortunately, but, you know, I I, I gave Jamaica a medal. Yes, you and, sure um, did. <laughs> and, you know, and, even though everybody that say, oh, yeah. they've not predict me in the, in the medals. So. I think what it is, is there are certain athletes that people are very forgetful in Apache. Like... Just in life in general, like you, you can contribute so much to a space. The minute that you're not the loudest anymore in their eyes, them start to write you off. Mm -hmm. um, and I'm just like, have you like, can you not remember that? I can do this in my sleep. Um, but that's just how people are. Un unfortunately, when I saw you at trials and even before trials, and I've said it that you were in my middle contention and people were just like, why? And I was like, I'm seeing two medals from two Jamaicans in this race. I don't care who else I run what. I know Brad Bill and I know Parchment is going to be on that podium. Unfortunately, you know, Brad Bill um, crashed out. Um, but after trials, after you were placed second, um, you ran, I think it was 13.12. 
So mm. closer to trials, you were doing season best after season's best. And then trials was a season best at that time as mm. well, 13.12. You were more confident at this time, know that, oh, here I am. I'm now on the team um, and I'm ready to go. Is it that's the thing? I am always confident. See there. You know what I mean? Um, <clears throat> I try to go with that kind of mindset. Mm-hmm. And I feel like once I have that mindset, you know, I always get better performances. Mm-hmm. Um, and of course, the aim was qualification. Mm-hmm. So, you know, all, all the training and the preparation was focused on the trials. Yes. So I I wouldn't say, I wouldn't say I'm surprised with any times or anything like that because the aim was qualify. So yeah. If it ev- if it was even thirteen six <laughs> once I qualify. <laughs> once you make the team, that's all that matters. That's the aim. Yeah. You know what I mean? And then take it from there. So now walk me through um through Budapest now. So you're on the team. It was you, Broadbill, and Orlando, Orlando. Bennett. Yeah. Similar team to last year as well. Same the team. same team yeah. to, to last year. Um, Broadbill, you know, now being the fastest Jamaican of this year at that particular time with 1294. Mm. Um, obviously, you're paying attention to what you can do. You've been doing this for far too long. You know how to manage the rounds. You know when to, to show up. But what I can say is, Pachi, you're stressed me out with a start. I'm going to, by the way, fix it. Just make the start stay. I'm about to fix it because it has been working. So let's make it stay, please. You know what's funny? Um, coach, coach and I have been talking about that, and you know, I always say I don't have anything to lose. Yeah. I can change my start for every race mm-hmm. to see which which one will work better. Mm-hmm. Because we don't start slow already. Yeah, yeah. So, just make it stay. You know, people always say, "Oh, you can't change mm-hmm. nothing so close to the time because it's going through off everything and nothing." I don't think that. <laughs> me, me don't start slow. Yeah. So if me change my foot placement to see if it give me a better push. Mm-hmm. It me only can get better. Right. Me only can get closer to the guy. So, yeah. But the final, you were in the lane what seven, eight? I think it was eight. Eight. Yeah. Cup yeah. covers nine lanes there. Mm. So it was lane eight. Um, I think you were the last person to the first hurdle. Probably. Them time the grant must have done the third hurdle. I already went at the first hurdle. <laughs> <early. laughs> I rewatched that race last night, I, and I'm no lies, right? I might be exaggerating just a little bit, but you were maybe at the first hurdle when Grant did the third hurdle. And oh, looking so back at that race, I'm just like, your topping speed is something going to this world. Um, you ended up getting the silver medal. See, um, that, that's another funny thing. Yeah. <clears throat> People are always talking about um, how I'm running so fast at the end, mm-hmm. but that's not really the case. What is the case? The case is everybody has slowed down. You think so? Yeah. I, mean, I think if, so. If you look on the break, the time breakdown, yeah. you will realize, say, uh, let's say for the first six hurdle, the rest of guys are run a particular time. Mm-hmm. But for the next four, they mm-hmm. run much slower than they run the in the first six. Mm. But my me you maintain my top speed. Yeah, throughout the race. Because all the way to hurdle 10. When you reached to the line, did you know at that particular moment that you was actually in second place? I wasn't sure, mm-hmm. but I could see Grant and I was trying to catch him. I always get you with the boy. <laughs> I always get you, man. I was, trying, always get you. I was trying to catch him, but yeah. um, I realized, of course, that he won, but I did, I, I'm not sure I could tell my placement. Mm-hmm. I think it was close to, to Daniel. Yes. Yeah. And of course, I was way over the end. So, mm-hmm. so you, you know, really, when you're in at the middle, sometimes it's difficult really to run in the boy. Yeah. 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 But good race nonetheless. Yeah. What would you like your legacy to be, um, Parche, um, in the next couple of years? Because I know that you do have a couple of years left. Um, next year for the Olympics, obviously. Um, the other world championship, two years from now, is it? No, man. No. The, the immediately year. after. Right. Yeah. So after Olympic 2024, then next year, 2025, mm. world championship. Um but what would you like your legacy to be? Because you said that earlier, people counted you out of the medal prediction and you're wondering why. And you're right, you've you've always been doing this. Once you're in a final, you've gotten us a medal. You've always been consistent. Um, but what would you like your legacy to be in the next couple of years after retirement? Um, and what is your actual goal? Because you've gotten all the medals now to me. 
Um, what's your actual goal? Well, I, I still haven't got the world championship, world championship goal. gold medal. So that's something to work towards. Mm -hmm. um, of course, world record is something to work towards. Mm -hmm. I really would like to lower my personal best because I don't feel right now that if if people are talking about wanting hurdles and then talk about the top 10 best wanting hurdlers, mm -hmm. I don't feel like I'm in the top five just yet. And I feel like if I'm going to be in top five, I need to run 1280 something. Mm -hmm. So that is where I'm aiming to go mm -hmm. because I want to be rem remembered as, you know, obviously one of the best. One of the best ever. You know, yeah. that, to, that did the sport one of the person who did it the longest, mm -hmm. um, as well as consistency. Yeah. You know, so that that is something that I'm especially working on for next season, the consistency part. At, at the end of this season, you now training should be resuming, or I don't know about this um, episode airs, it should resume. Yes. Um, how are you feeling now mentally and physically? When I feel good and I, you know, I try to talk to people who, 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 you know, give me that mental toughness. Yes. You know, so I can always focus on the right things and keep my mind in the right place. And, um, you know, that's what I do with my coach most of the times. We, we talk about how we can improve. Mm -hmm. So when everybody else is celebrate and a party, party and, and, and everything, things. me and him talk about, yeah. all right, um, it was a good race, you know. And he might tell me, say, seven out of ten or some mm -hmm. foolishness like that. <laughs> when I'm thinking, you know, that that's a nine out of ten, yeah. sir. What you say? Yeah. You know, but I know him in proud of me and thing. Mm -hmm. But we always see or try to to see in what areas we can improve. Improve yeah. because we know we can do better. Yeah. We know we can go faster. We know we can be more consistent. So yeah. we we are trying to find out all the areas where we can do some more work mm -hmm. to, to, to produce even better results, you know, because of course Jamaica would love to see better results. And mm -hmm. one of the things that I would love to be in is a one, two, three. Same here. You know? And it can happen because we have yeah. some of the best hurdles. It can yeah. happen. So that's something I keep talking about every time them ask me, would I love to see a one, two, three for Jamaica? Yeah. You know, of course, more on the, at the top of the, the top swatch, yes, but, please, come on. You know, I, I, <laughs> yeah. I think we, we have the the capacity to and the depth, that. yeah. Um, we we want to kind of sweep US a little bit to the side. Yes, please, man. You know, uh, of course they are very competitive and they are very good at the event, just just as we are. Mm -hmm. But you know, I still believe that we can come through with that, and I would like to see with us doing that very soon. Well, there you have it. You're ready from the man. Next, we're gonna see him and Jericho Jackson play a quick game. Are you ready for these questions, sir? I know that um. you're a very private person and I was, <laughs> but I have some questions. I didn't form these questions, by the way. So I'm going to go to a break. When I have the speed round, the speed round questions, where I'm going to ask both you and Sherika Jackson um, some questions. And the first answer that comes to your mind, you have to answer so you cannot pause and think. You understand? Once again, this is Boy Things Podcast, Hansa Parchment. We're going to have Sherika Jackson next on the coach. Uh, we have here Hansa Parchment and Sherika Jackson. No, this is the game part of the show, right? The fun part where we get to know our personality is a little bit better, but the great part about it is them can't think. You know, a man like me, where I sit down and think shoots. and turn it up, them can't think. Um, so they have three seconds the most to answer these questions. So we have truth and dares, and then we have the speed questions. Yep, so <coughs> as quickly as possible, here we go. <laughs> and these are the dares first, by the way. Um, show the most embarrassing photo on your phone. I have nothing like that. Answer about the this. Serious. You know, I'm, you know, I'm nothing. Sherika, go on. Sherika, remember say, Sherika? No. Remember say, we know you have done. it. I hardly take pictures of myself. Much like. But now I've done for two. That is a lie from the pits of hell. I'm <laughs> 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 Go on to your phone answer real quick. In, in the meantime. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. must have somebody asleep. Somebody catch no. you asleep. No. You know, three and ninja pa grung. No, I don't have none. I don't have them photo. I don't have none. Embarrassing photo. I don't have none. Hold on. One off. No, no, me. I don't know if this is embarrassing. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, give me a photo. Can you zoom up on this one, please? <laughs> 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 
I wish Gary had this. Come, 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 come. come. Call, is it Show me more seats <laughs> anyway. So this is Sevika's um, embarrassing photograph. Are you seeing it? Yeah? <laughs> okay, you get it? No? Yes? <laughs> Sevika, why are you still so in that tree? <laughs> Oh, all this. And then Ansel tell me said this is his most embarrassing photo. Hansel, please. Yeah, no, no. <laughs> hey, mama, on the screen, foolishness. Okay, okay. Here yeah, see, go. Turn up light. yeah. All right. Are you seeing? This is not that embarrassing, Hansel. That's please. Right. It is asleep. not embarrassing. All right. Next dear. Show the last five people you texted and what the messages said. No, that no, nah, go work. <laughs> <laughs> I know if I pay five thousand dollars, you can't do it. I forgot to pay for that one. <laughs> so on the ear pan record, tell my people the five grand. I'm gonna need it today. Today, I'm not asking. <laughs> I never said next year. More the money today. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. A four, four. four. I don't know nothing about it. Five, but you have to show me the message, them. So I would have to read the no, message to myself. Can't show. You want cancel answer? Hold on. Man, them nobody know about. <laughs> No, this guy. Somebody get five grand from the tournament. Then, all right, good, love that. Uh, show us your screen time report. You know if I find that on a that, setting. I would have, don't know. When you go in your settings, mm -hmm. and then you go to where exactly again? Or oh, settings, and it should just say screen time, right? Yeah. Yes. 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 No, hold on. Let me see that. Oh, see there. Yeah. Boy, well, Apache, no, 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 no. Let me see your one, Let me read it. All right, can you tell me the amount of hours that you spend on your phone? Four hours. Four hours per day? No, just today. Oh, today alone? And the day you just start? We ate no man. You said on the daily average. Patch, I know your phone not even updated. Your phone updated or nothing. I don't know. What did I say? Same thing. How are you clicking? You know, I've activated nothing, Patch. It's supposed to come up. Let me see. Party phone, they must say the same thing. So, they must say that. I don't know. So, I'm phone name. I don't know. 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 I don't well, actually, the four hours and 21 minutes is your daily average, and you're down 6% from last week. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's not bad. Okay. That's not bad. Um, oh, we can't see that. But you look like you're I Chinese. Only for the Philippines. Come on, I love that. Everybody, iPhone, as they go through your settings, it's there, right? Yes. It no, nah, come up on the phone at all. It literally just shows something that says you can see your screen time. That's it. But it doesn't say anything else. So I'm gonna understand. All right, next oh, dear. Probably off. I see. Let me just wait for now. Let me just turn it on. Yeah. Oh, okay. So the next one is yell out the first word that comes to your mind. Magnificent. Win. Win. Okay. <laughs> Pretend to be the person to your right for one minute. <laughs> That is Sherry Kamacho. <laughs> Girl, let <laughs> say. One minute, one minute, one minute. Go on, go on, go on. Hold on, we don't know what it is. Party on my face. Just the girl alone? Yeah. No, yeah, you're party win that. Girl, party win. Party girl, let say. <laughs> yeah, that is so true. Party outside. Oh. <laughs> All right, say two honest things about everyone else in the group. So just us here on set. So you have to say two honest things about Pachi and about me. And then Pachi have to do the same for me and for Sharika. Um, mm -hmm. You're caring mm -hmm. and you're humble. That's two, our, that's two our things. one okay. more. Mm -hmm. You're down to earth mm -hmm. and you're easy going. You're true. All yeah. right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, Pachi, your turn. All right. Um, <laughs> yeah. All right, go on, me listen. 
Tunisia, I don't know. So you can't find two adjectives, party? But sure, you can have fun. Yes. You know what I mean? Right? Mm, we're crazy, you know, but yeah. you want it. I love laugh. <laughs> it is so true. <laughs> that is so true. Okay, okay. All right. Um, now it's time for the truth. <clears throat> when was the last time you lied? In this interview. Because obviously, like in no, obviously. just in general, but I know some, some, some questions I'm asking in the interview I lie about, but you know, I can't answer a question. When's no, the last no, time I'm going to lie? No, I'm right. lie since the day. Since the day I'm going to lie? No, I'm going to lie. So I lie yesterday? This morning. This morning? <laughs> <laughs> when they say that for you? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> When's the last time you lied, Pochi? You know, my, my thing is a little bit different. Oh, you don't lie? Most times, I'm going to try my best not when to lie. When last you lie, Pochi? <laughs> I don't remember. More than more, just avoid. You know, life and t- listen. More than more, just avoid the question. Don't lie. Just, when was the last time you I cried? Just don't answer. When was the last time you cried? Last time you cried. Mm-hmm. Sherko. Mm-hmm. Brother, give me some lick, you know. Last time you cried. Yeah. For me a picnic party. Yeah, man, get some lick. Say no ball for me a big man. My all of my crying beat out. <laughs> yeah. But I'm supposed to laugh. <laughs> Look at that is abuse. <laughs> <laughs> but. <laughs> I can't help it. Pardon, I don't want to cry a bit. Say the ball for me, ton big man. I can't recall that. What about you, Sherika? Last time you ball, you know, was for the show, me go for it. So, so yeah. So, I'm tell you, last time, I never that cry, no tears, just sit there and out. That different. No, I'm just sitting on tears, just sit there and out of my eye. Just so? Just so. Something going in the eye, man. Almost. What is your biggest fear? Yo, I start listening to some, some of them, um, what do you call them thing there? <laughs> Audio book. Yes. Where they talk about, you know, overcome your fear and them kind of thing there. So, so then we have no fear? I probably have fear, yes, but I think I'm kind of more in a space where I'm understanding of it. Mm-hmm. You know, so it's not fear to the, to the where, where to that Make my freeze or okay, un- okay, unresponsive or you know, kind of vibe. What about you, Sherika? What's your biggest fear? I don't really know, you know. I don't know. You don't know? Mm-mm. Okay, all right. Yeah, well, one book I'm a read, you know. Mm-hmm. You see me? So, <laughs> oh, you read a book? Kinda, too? kinda make me ground it, so I okay. expect anything. Yeah. 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 So all right, that's that. You know? Yeah. Was boom bam quing them. Yeah. yeah. All right. You can just jump over them then. Okay? Yeah. What's yeah. your biggest um okay, what's your relationship deal breaker? Three seconds. The first thing that comes to your mind. Nothing about I think. Come. I'm too slow, man. First thing really? Come yeah, on. Just, when they're too slow. <laughs> oh slow, okay. What about you you sure? try to abuse me mentally, make me feel like me a mad woman. But I mean technically you mm, are. You know? <laughs> <laughs> technically. I'm crazy, you know. Yeah. But you see, I say something go so. I saw it go. I saw my state to you, my friend. I'm a gnarly go for it. Yeah, man, I saw my state to man. Anything I say, man, I say, go on. I make me feel like I'm crazy. I'm crazy, you know? <laughs> oh. Do you have a hidden talent? Hidden talent. I feel like I can't sing. I'm not telling you. You feel I both are tuned right now for me. No, man, sing one. One no, easy man, song. Somebody give me an easy no, song. No, man, I can't make it. No, no man, right, no. We can't dance. We can't dance. All right, dance with him. <laughs> Can anything yeah, I say, I'm going to do it. Yeah, 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 I forgot to do it. Yeah, it's here. No, I can't write. I can't write. I think you didn't tell him. He's writing. Okay. But what's your say hidden talent? I don't think my talent is kind of out there. Running? Dancing. Party, dance? party, please. No, no, no. Please. No. Party, no. nobody set up, brother, Papa Show. All right. But, 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 drop a song. We could see you. You never see me a stir fry anything there. I stir fry a fruit on the camera right now. Easy, <laughs> Yeah, 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 come on. Eh, 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 all right then. <laughs> yeah, right, yeah, I'm glad. <laughs> you know, I can't even teach when I dance, you know. Tell her about the teacher again. <laughs> so right, easy. You need a new dancer. It's a new teacher party. Okay, have you ever cheated in an exam? Yes. Party, where you look over here. Party, you're cheating in an exam, party. When I go KC, party, you're cheating in an exam, party. Party, you're going to say no? Party, everybody cheated in an exam before a party. Listen. Let me tell you a story, Virgin. Yes. I did a math exam mm-hmm. at KC. See? And <laughs> the invigilator walk out of the room. I say, what oh, really? I go on here, so. I mm-hmm. see the man him start, go to work. So I say, I plan thing. <laughs> <laughs> yes. And we just 
focus on my paper because you don't want to get catch. <laughs> you know what? I'm not disciplined, though. Bad. I'm not, I'm not telling you. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm afraid to get catch. Yeah. Oh, okay. You know what I mean? So that's that how that I'm going to do it. Do you cheat in a real life? In real life relationships? Um, right, I've done it before. I'm not oh, going to like to be perfect. Not perfect. Okay. If you were to... If you were going to be on a reality TV show, which one would it be? Kardashian one. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> None of them. None of them? Okay. What's one thing you hate people to know about you? Uh, hate people to know about me. Three seconds. Come. No, you're not supposed to think. What are supposed to think? No, that's the aim of the game. You're not supposed to think. Would they eat them no about me? Yeah. We can't think of anything. Can't think of nothing? Okay. What's the best thing anyone's ever done for you? Best thing? Mm-hmm. My girl ever give me money. We got to make, make it. Oh, yeah. Them. On the bus. Oh, okay. Okay. Not Natasha, you Is anybody doing nothing for you? The whole of your life? <laughs> What's one thing you wish people knew about you? Three seconds. But now I'm going to say someone nice because if I ever tell people someone nice, you know. Mm. But. You're very caring though. Yeah, I'm a, it's a little therapy, you know. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm going to do, do my little. Think I'm so. Yeah. Pache? Multi talented. Really? <laughs> like what? <laughs> like what? You can't run. <laughs> but, but, but what else, Pachi? We can't understand. you can run. You can dance. You can cook. Pachi, you cannot cook? No, you cannot dance. What do you mean? Pachi, I've seen you cooked. Pando cook have something the other day. I don't know what was that. I never like it. I never like what I see. I alone never like it. What a photo they come, Pachi? Are you say a robbery? <laughs> Some of the other for me alone. Don't want to judge him. Never make your win there. I'm out of the judge there. I don't know what I say. Watch your vibe now. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You see, man, when them get the winning. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Remember, say, them say 45 minutes yeah. to prepare the meal and present it. Mm-hmm. The man go way out at the time. Mm-hmm. About one and a half hours. <laughs> <laughs> right? the, pre- the man present three meals for each judge, yeah. separate, drink, and soup. Oh, <laughs> you can, you can do all of that in a 45 minutes. Oh, your name today, me. We never have enough time. Uh, one day, they give me the man going to cook. Anyways, next question. Um, what's the best piece of advice you've ever given? Um, stay grounded and social media is not your friend. It's your work. Actual, today. factual. That is true. Pachi? Write down your plans. <laughs> yes, yes. Do you have a favorite sibling? One sibling, me have so. Okay. Have one you have, okay. How would you rate your looks on a scale of one to ten? Brilliant. You say Wash up your scale. Um, one to ten. I say about eight. Okay, okay. If you could be one celebrity for a day, who would it be? Me. Oh, Jesus, other than yourself, Sherika. Somebody else. Um, yeah, pick somebody else. Probably Michael Jackson. Michael Jackson. Okay. You know I'm gonna bother. Okay. Now these questions and I've answered them quickly. Bam. What is a weird food that you love? Come again. What is a weird food that you love? Pachi? I don't like no weird food. Mackerel and anything there. Okay. Sure you go. Me picky, you know, me picky. Yeah, me too. Yeah, as Jamaicans, we don't really eat. Eat, 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 eat. We're not too eat to eat, actually. Yeah. Um, what turbo movie or show is your guilty pleasure? I don't have nothing like that. You know Kung Fu Hustle? No, I've never heard of that before. Really? Kung Fu Hustle? Martin, you know that? We watch that one hundred times. Wow. I like Hardway. Hardway. I don't think I've heard that either. Okay. Um, What's your biggest childhood fear? Or what was your biggest childhood fear? Beating. (laughs) Patrick, I'm beating them. I've been a choke all that. Nah, it's not like. Like when I do something, my grandmother killed me with some leak. You know, when I do something wrong at school, you know, you go and feel beaten. As you go, I just go right there. (laughs) Ready. Yeah, man, I, eat, man. I think that was one of mine. <laughs> what is the first letter of your crush's name? Three seconds. <laughs> no, <I said> that. <laughs> <laughs> man, nah, I said that. <laughs> Skip the question. I'm going to have to pay my five thousand dollars more again. That ten thousand dollars I'm going to go on the twelve number one and money was just so done. I want a ten thousand dollars. Oh, 
good. I got to answer the question on parchment. Um, I don't know if me have a crush right now, you know. Are you in a relationship? You're always in a relationship. Relationship with God. I know what I'm going to say. Are you in an intimate relationship? With God. And do you have a girlfriend? That question, I kind of want to skip it. Say over fifteen thousand. I don't know. Okay. Um, what is the worst grade you've received for a class in school or college? I think I got thirty six percent. I get both eight one time, and I'm not stressed. But not that I don't know. I must eat me get. I must four. Get a look at twenty so. See there, yeah man, maths. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what maths? What is the biggest lie you've ever told? Listen, God said all all things they find the same level. So. Share what I say. Share it. Share it. What's the biggest lie you ever told? Depend on me where. Yeah, you depend on where. Share it. I'm not people. I'm just past for cars. Yeah, man. If I say I depend on where, I'm left me out. Share it is the worst person to plan anything with. Yep. Share it. I'll be two hours late. Mm-hmm. Me hours late, but share it beat me mm-hmm. by far. I depend on me where, man. So I say all in our yard. <laughs> um. Okay. If you suddenly had a million dollars, how would you spend it? What would you talk about? US dollars. Oh, How could the Jamaican dollar party? Yeah. Mama's on the ridge. Um, what are the only things in it? Mama tell you. <laughs> when I grew up in a riches, you know, mm-hmm. so I probably I gonna save some money, you know, enough of it. Mm-hmm. Sometime when push come to show, but I feel like I probably would get a look at us. Mm-hmm. Maybe. Okay. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. Maybe. And if I think about that long and hard. <laughs> long and hard. And I really spend money. I mean, are we seen her? You're, so, you're so animated. It's not even funny. I can't deal with this. Wow. What is the worst food you've ever tasted? Worst food? No, I remember I was in Poland one time. and. Why the African country do <laughs> No, that's not, that not bad. I eat this. I don't even know what it is. I can't remember exactly what it was African. called. But I was in Poland. And I mash up immediately after eating that food. So where do you eat? I know about chicken. No man, no when man, we go to them country, they must eat bread and, and butter. <laughs> fool, my fool man, but me I try things. But when the African country, them food not hot, me not love it. Uh, they have chicken in the them, are, them not so, them not, them not too <laughs> far, them not so. far from we. Mm-hmm. So, you know, you, you can survive. Mm-hmm. <laughs> um, okay, what is the weirdest way you've met someone you now consider a close friend? Three seconds. Weird. Yeah. Probably upon the media. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Social media. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, maybe. What is the most embarrassing thing you've ever posted on social media? I mean, I post nothing embarrassing. I post nothing embarrassing. Who's your celebrity crush? I have none. Um, have? Scarlett Johansson. Yeah. How would like Can we like know. Scarlett Johansson? Been long, long time ago. How many kids do you want to have one day? Or how many did you want to have growing up? I always say five, you know. How many do you have right now? I'll leave that for later. 20,000 oh. I owe me parchment. I owe me 10,000 I owe come. <coughs> How many kids do you want? You have to tell me I'm going to reverse my first. You don't want none? I don't want none. I don't want none. I should wake up, so. Okay. <coughs> if you could eat only... Me up for me, I want to. All right, that's oh, good, like good, good, good. Love that. If you could eat one meal for the rest of your life, what would it be? Turkey neck. Turkey neck? And rice and peas. Eat tur- and turkey neck and rice and peas? Right, this so. The turkey neck is... Turkey neck nasty. No. Nah, man. Mm-mm. He eat turkey neck. What Anybody else here likes turkey neck? Nice. Martin says no. Shen, you like turkey neck? Oh, see, man. You like turkey neck? You like turkey neck, Sonia? Oh, okay. Turkey neck be- belongs in the trash, okay? No, I like that. Um, What is the secret you had as a child? Hold on, so that, that, that oh, oh, yes, yes, right, yes, go, go on. on. No, man. <laughs> so, I think you said turkey neck for two. I think you said turkey neck. Yeah. You think I agree. You think I agree. Turkey neck yeah, I agree. You said good. Okay. All right, go on. Go on. Yeah, you're good. I'd eat some steamed fish. Oh, okay. Or okay. brown oh. steamed fish. Only for veggies. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Me, I got eat it for the rest of my life. Yeah, every single day. Yeah. Okay. Um, what's a secret you had as a child that you never told your parents that you can say right now? My mother owe me 10,000 and 15,000. No, 20,000 20, 20, and 15,000. All right, that's at 25. <laughs> well, I grew up with Christian, in a Christian home, so. Never really did that. I know that you're not trouble. Oh, yeah, true. Gotcha. At what age you broke your virginity? <clears throat> Sit down now. You mean that about 18 now? 20. 18, 19. 20. 20. All right. Yes, <laughs> <laughs> 20. Yes, 20. Really, 20. 20. That's when I left high school. 20 and uh, 18. I want to start late, man. 
19, Jesus. Grew up good, you know? Okay, so so can't me never grow up. Can't my mother just left me out the door and just say, go do whatever you want to do. No, man, me did live with my father, you know. I remember me go boarding school, so. Oh, yes. Okay, Um, what is your favorite book of all time? Three seconds. I, I, I read some book where it says, Know to self what she feels, what she still feels. Hmm. I have a variety of them books there, you know, so. Okay. I think them are my favorite book. Then. And you partially about the Bible? <laughs> <laughs> um. <laughs> why, why, why would I say that? Though? That's so disrespectful. <laughs> yeah, go on. Go on. One book named Compensation. Compensation. Okay. I've never heard of that one before. Um, what is something you would do if you knew there were no consequences? Slap some people. Yeah. Hey, you know that tell some people my mind. Is <laughs> 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 but it's deserved it. slapping on or just, yeah. just yeah. Yeah. some people my yeah. mind. But. Never feel it, I want you to tell them your mind too. Um, what is the last text message you sent to your best friend? No, Looking at your phone. No, no, you have to look at your phone and show me. I'll you know. tell you. But you're saying your best friend. Go on, party. Why? I'm weird. I know, go on. And if you can't read it at 5,000, I'm more than that, you know? That's at 30. Oh, and party at 20 for me already. Lady Vex. At the Lady Vex. It's <laughs> <laughs> a Woody Vex. You ever see it? <laughs> for real. <laughs> yeah, it's just in my. So, Woody Vex. Eh? Yeah? Woody Vex. Somebody did Vex, so oh. she said Lady Vex. So okay, like, all right. <laughs> um, what is the worst physical pain you've ever been in? Machine, man. Shin? Mm. Shin, too? No. Probably injection. Let me get a doctor more. Right? Injection was done to shin pain, Paji? Yeah, I never really, I never have shin pain. Oh. Mm. Let me get shin some injection, go all the way down my hamstring, so. From the lower back. Mm mm. Mm mm. Yeah, and like them inject it and them, them leave the needles in. And then them add the medicine. And take out this one afterwards. Oh. When they don't, they can barely walk. Is that a bad man, Nina? Personality wise, are you like your mom or dad? None of them. Mixed drop both. <laughs> sure, because I don't know them. What? Mm-mm. None of them. Okay. None none of my one personality. Mixture mixed drop both? Not, yeah. None of them. When is the last time you apologized? This morning. What did you do? Never do nothing. Say so the I'm sorry, just so? Yeah, because I apologize to so somebody not understanding me. That's you apologize for somebody not understanding you? Yeah, that's weird, guys. I never do it. Yeah. If you don't understand me, I say go. Yeah, but sometimes I have to apologize because of people. Actual factual, love that. Part of you? Last time I apologized. You grew up so good enough to do weeks, no apologies. You grew up so nice, part of you do nothing in this world, yeah. Sometimes things go on, man. I have to, yeah, for I apologize. Sorry, yeah. All right, so three more questions. Mm. If your house got caught on fire and you could only save three things beside people, what would they be? Keys. Mm -hmm. Wallet. My passport. What? <laughs> well. So my passport. No, no, I leave my wallet in my house. So my passport. I don't need much else. Once I have my wallet and my passport. Mm, my, my passport. <laughs> so I'm to the phone. I don't want a bird paper. I don't want nothing. My house about the mail already on my phone. No, my... <laughs> <laughs> You don't want your car key? You don't want a car key? Listen, my car key, you know, I'm the same bag. See that? Okay, okay, no, okay, no, okay, no, okay, okay. okay. No, okay. That definitely take up my passport, man. Okay, Um, what sport or hobby do you wish you've picked up as a child? Probably football. Football? I could be a netball. Netball? I think I'm not too bad. Yeah, I can soon have played in the sport, for sure. So yeah. And final question. I remember already. You owe me how much? 30, party with me 20. Leave me one of them. Oh, party pass me. Are you pass me? No, you pass she. Oh, are you pass him? How me pass him? No, party with no, me 30, are you owe me 20? Oh, hey, party, go here, man. <laughs> you know, say, say, you're Christian, are you a lie? Are you saying a lie? You know, you see? Oh, you see, oh, we're catching a lie on the camera, though. So. Anyways, <laughs> final question. Remember, 30, 20. Mm -hmm. And these are my witnesses. More my money has a show done. <laughs> Have you ever stolen anything before? Yeah. <laughs> 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 oh 
<laughs> oh, okay. Have you ever seen anything yeah. before? Yeah. Party? I don't know. See, you was like, well, party. Like Give me saying I come on, man. Those are not steel. Um, bug juice. No, you're just about to thief. Party. Go up in your church. Your Listen, church. I'm telling a story. You see my little mark on my nose. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. You know what I did? What? Thief freeze. He used to teeth up bag juice now. Freeze, and he bag juice. Hey, Jack Dong Pio. And you, you know, deep freeze, when he opened it, it's supposed yeah. to stay open. Mm-hmm. That one didn't ever stay. <laughs> 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 you know what? So that's the episode. Thank you to my two guests. It was lovely having you both here. Hands to Parchment, Sharika Jackson. <laughs> no, man to God. Listen, that's a wrap. Big up for yourself. Thank you for watching. <laughs> Party. So that was the episode with uh, Sharika Jackson and Hans Apartment, and it was such a vibe. But, you know, just remember to be kind to our athletes. Remember that they're human beings as well. You know, just also be cognizant of when you're, you know, being harsh or critiquing, you know, that they can't see these things, right? So let's just celebrate them. Let's um, cheer for them all, all the time. Uh, so once again, this video and episode was done by Studio 45, located at 30 to 32 Red Hills Road, unit number 45. Remember, for all podcast needs, whatever it is that you want to do, where it pertains to recording anything at all. You can come here, anything at all. Commercial, whatever it is, yes, you can come. Yes, and so you can book them today. And maybe, once again, if you tell them, say, boy, I think so, you know, you can get a little discount. Yeah, full outfit today. Shirt, shorts, and socks by Bridge Official. Remember, once again, if you use Boya Things, you can get up to 35% off anything at all in a store or even online. And also, my major sponsor, Peckish JA, for all your catering needs. Once again, if you use Boya Things, you can get a free appetizer with any of your order. Yeah, so back up on yourself. Until next week, my name is Karen Boy Things. Remember, you're great. You have a purpose. Uh, continue going. There's light at the end of the tunnel. Yeah, Things from Karen Boy Things. This is Boy Things Podcast. I'll see you next week, Sunday.